Metabolism is about chemical reactions in the body's cells mm. that change food into energy. How's your metabolism? It's Hunt for Wellness, episode number 151. In the Hunt for Wellness podcast, we talk about mind, body, and spirit because that's what people are made of. They're made of a body, a mind, and a spirit. And we want each of those to be fully functioning, fully nurtured, to live a healthy, full, living your best life. Hello, welcome to Hunt for Wellness. I'm John Hunt. And I'm Christy Hunt. And this is the show where we help you live your best life, mind, body, and spirit. And this episode of Hunt for Wellness is brought to you by waterdistillers.com. Great machines providing great water for your great wellness. Check it out at waterdistillers.com. All right, metabolism, metabolism. Yes. <laughs> meta, yeah. metabolism. Mm -hmm. There's probably, mm -hmm. what is the meta of ballism? It's big. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess it would be. Meta is kind of big, isn't it? Yeah, it is. There we go. It is. Um, so we're already getting into like the Latin structure of the word. So metabolism is about chemical reactions in the body's cells mm. that change food into energy. Ooh, yeah. And our bodies need energy to do everything, even think, grow, move, all the stuff. And is it good to have a fast metabolism or a slow metabolism? It's a good to have a good metabolism. A good metabolism. Okay, that's good. <laughs> well, let's figure out how to get a good metabolism. So hopefully you have a good metabolism and you want to keep your good metabolism. Yes. You know? I do want to keep my metabolism. I don't want to give it away. Good. Don't give your metabolism away because <laughs> then you're not alive anymore. <laughs> how, how do you measure metabolism, though? Well, we're going to talk a little bit about the thyroid, okay. which um, kind of manages and regulates the body's metabolism okay. and energy and even just the body temperature. So if a person can be feeling like really cold a lot or really hot, their metabolism could be off. So what system is this? Because remember we did all those episodes yeah. on systems? What it's the this? endocrine system. Okay, so we should link in our show notes the uh, endocrine system. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we probably didn't call it that. We probably had some clever title. I'm sure we did. I'm sure we did. Uh, but uh, we'll uh, make it, sure that gets into our show notes if you go over to huntforwellness.com, episode number 151. Yeah. All right. So the thyroid is on your neck. Okay. All right. It's a small, like, butter shape, um, really? butterfly shape. I just thought it was like in the tip gland. of your brain, but okay. That's good no, to know. No, this one is in your throat. Like, oh. Do you remember? Maybe you don't. If the doctor, when they're doing exam or nurse practitioner, um, feels your neck, yeah. you know, that they're feeling your thyroid and they're seeing how, Interesting. how's it doing? Wow. I learned something new today. Well, Good. You What's the thing that's something? the little part of your brain that affects a lot of things? That's a pituitary. A pituitary? Okay, yeah. well, and we're not that's talking about that. Okay. No, we're talking cool. about the thyroid. Thyroid, all right. So. Butterflies. Yeah, <laughs> butterflies in your throat. <laughs> yeah, is that where that term comes? I don't know, we won't even go there no. either. <laughs> okay. So you want to keep your thyroid working happily, properly, yes. because it can Im impact your whole body. Yeah, sure can. And so, um, and as people age, they can have more challenges with their thyroid. Mm -hmm. So um, we want to keep it strong and healthy. Uh, you can experience changes in your um, sleep, hmm. in your energy, weight gain or weight loss, depending upon the issue. Because sometimes the thyroid can work too hard, too fast, mm -hmm. and then actually like burn out. Ooh, that's or not good. it can just just slow down yeah. and just not function. So we want to keep it good, sustainable. We should have good energy all day long. We should be sleeping good, maintaining a good weight, not having trouble with I that. Like it. Yeah. So um, a port, a part, uh, an important thing to keep our thyroid healthy is to eat healthy. Yes. Just like it is for Yeah, how does everything. nutrition affect your thyroid and your metabolism? Yeah, so one thing is we need iodine, and the mm. thyroid needs iodine, and often there is iodine in salt. Oh, so there, yeah. people used to have a lot of problems with their thyroid when they weren't getting enough iodine. Oh. That's usually not a problem here in the United States. 
So, because we eat plenty of salt. <laughs> yes, for sure. Everything's got salt in it. Yes. Um, but we want to avoid foods that cause oxidative stress and inflammation, such as like ultra processed foods, deli meats, um, bacon, foods and beverages. Even organic stuff like that, too? Even organic, because it's also processed. Oh, it's the processing that's the problem. And so, and then foods and beverages high in sugar, fried foods, fast foods. So eating organically, eating whole foods, normal foods that you just make yourself. Okay. Like um, you cook your chicken in the pan. <laughs> You're not like deep frying it, you know? Mm -hmm. You're just cooking your chicken. You're making your vegetables. You're making your ground beef or your steak, um, but it's not highly processed. That's what that's the way you want to eat, and you want to eat a lot of vegetables. Yeah, because that also helps reduce um, oxidative stress okay. on your body, and including your thyroid. Right. Now, so, is there perhaps any kind of like supplement that might go along with this? There is, but I just want to say a couple more things. Oh, okay, about before healthy, we get to the good news, healthy lifestyle though. Yes, because for... that's really a good way to manage your life. Yeah, yes, we call it young living. <laughs> yeah, for a reason. <laughs> yeah, we want to stay young and be healthy and live healthy, and so just eating those organic whole foods, getting enough sleep at night, mm -hmm. typically seven to nine hours is what people need um, and getting regular exercise, including lifting weights and some aerobic exercise every week, literally, ideally every day and keeping our stress low. How, what do you think that looks like? <sighs> I don't know. I wouldn't know. <laughs> You're asking the wrong person. <laughs> That's no, not I, true. Yeah, Just taking time to have, do some self care and, what what are ways that Quiet. you do like golf is a great self care. Oh, that is awesome. Camping, you know, being yes. in the outdoors, just outdoors. Is, yes, nature is great. A nature, lowers vitamin stress. D from the sun coming down on your face. Yeah, can't beat that. We yeah. haven't had a lot of sun here lately, but no, you know, we've had a lot of rain. We've had a lot of rain, <laughs> but you know, sun is coming. Also, relationships you know, positive relationships, yeah. that is a de-stressor. Good. That's why I like to hang out with you. I know. We have so much fun. That's right. I know. Lots of laughter. Laughter is good medicine. It is. I know. That sounds like something from the Bible, doesn't it? Yeah. So honestly, don't take yourself too seriously. Have fun. Try to laugh off those problems. Good. Right? Yes. Yeah. So... And the other things we can do on the spiritual level is pray mm -hmm. for a healthy thyroid, yes. healthy endocrine system, and just overall good health. Yeah. That's a good thing to pray for every day. Yep. And pray about what's bothering you. If something is bothering you, pray about it and ask the right. Lord how to get through this situation, What what's a good solution. Um, we should also point people towards our podcast on oils of the ancient scriptures. Because mm -hmm. we talk a lot about there in that one about meditating and praying and the oils that can assist you with that stuff. So um, we'll link that in the show notes too over at huntforwellness.com episode 151. Yeah. All right. And if eating healthy is an issue for you, pray about that too. All right. So, okay. Good. Now. Who, so we do have a supplement that supports the thyroid. Yes. And um, I just want to say this is for informational purposes only, not to replace yes. uh, your partnership with your healthcare practitioner. Exactly. Um, but I want you to know that there is a natural supplement that can help support, support thyroid yeah. if That's you're right. experiencing minor changes in energy, yeah. weight, sleep, you might want to try some thyramin. Yes. That is the supplement. Mm -hmm. um, and if you are on thyroid medication, this is not a replacement for no. medication. It's you not need, a medication. It's no, a supplement. it's not. You need to talk to your practitioner yes. about anything related to your thyroid. Right. So um, we are not diagnosing or prescribing anything. No, here. no. But I have. I've had some testing and um, 
realized I needed some support for my thyroid. And so I took Thyramin mm -hmm. for like a couple of months and then I didn't need it anymore. So oh. it is just like, get you some support through usually the thyroid when it has challenges, it's due to some stress, either yeah. physical stress, it could be emotional stress. Mm -hmm. That's why we wanna keep our stress levels low and take good care of ourselves. But sometimes that thyroid might just need a little boost if it, it's having, having a dip. Mm -hmm. And um, I want you to know it's available. Also, a friend of mine, same type of thing. She was having some challenges with her thyroid and um, use the thyramin with her doctor with testing and uh, was able to get her thyroid back to normal function and didn't need need to be on thyramin forever nice just for a short yeah. period of time right and so that was great um there you go <laughs> well then you were almost done that means you, you gotta have at least one final word yeah well just i want to say that the thyramin does help regulate body metabolism energy and temperature um there is a blend of porcine glandular extracts herbs amino acids and essential oils to support and assist the thyroid's healthy function mm -hmm. and you yeah. take it before bed okay Take one to two capsules before bed, depending upon what you need. But there are also, like if you're having some energy dips, there might be some other things that you want mm -hmm. to supplement with. Um, a couple of other supplements. Well, one is Endogize, which is um, a daily women's supplement powered by minerals, ginger, myrrh, cassia, clary sage, Canadian mm. fleabane, and ashwagandha root which enhances communication within the endocrine system. So it balances a woman's system um, before menopause, um, after menopause. So that is a great thing. And so, and fem, Femigen is also to support women's reproductive system. Nice. Yes. A lot of support there for that endocrine system. Yes. And then, that energy one that I was telling you about yep. is Super B. Ooh. <laughs> and um, so if you're feeling less than super, you might want Super B, which has got all the um, essential B vitamins to help with your energy. Wow. And it is a great supplement. You, I take it every day. Yeah. yeah. Yep, I do. It supports... I take really B, good. I take C, I take D. <laughs> supports and a bunch of others. energy, supports cognitive function, yeah. supports feelings of stress, dealing with those, may help ease those, um, cardiovascular function. So it's a it's a great supplement. And if you need help figuring out um, what what might be best for you, you can connect Reach with out. us. Yeah, go over yeah. to huntforwellness.com. Click mm -hmm. the blue connect button. It's all mm -hmm. over. Mm -hmm. And we can email, talk on the phone, whatever whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, it's going to be a great way to get started. That's the main thing is just to get started on your natural health journey. Yes. All yes. right. Well, this episode of Hunt for Wellness brought to you by waterdistillers.com. Great machines providing great water for your great wellness. Check it out at waterdistillers.com. And now my little butterfly is going to fly <laughs> away until the next episode of Hunt for Wellness.